Welcome back to Bitcoin Advisors channel. My name is Chris. I'm going to bring you a lovely little cryptocurrency video about a coin that is trending at the moment. Uh, ASAP Sniper bot, one of the Telegram bots uh, I got a tip on. Needless to say, I'm going to show you how to add it in a MetaMask wallet right now because a lot of people wonder, how do I get this thing? So you go to your clipboard, copy it there from CoinMarketCap. You should at least know how to go to CoinMarketCap, find the ASAP Sniper bot, and then you want to import token, which um, I guess I'll go back one here. Go to import tokens. You're going to copy and paste that URL. Sorry, in, you're going to go to co custom tokens, copy and paste the custom address in there. Then you're going to add the token. Okay, boom. Make sure the symbol matches. And then we'll go back to our main account. And then, um, so now it's added to our wallet. Let's see if we can buy it. Buy, taking at least a short leg up. And if you believe in the bot narrative, might wanna take a look at this one. All right, let's jump into Bitcoin. Checking in on those banter bubbles in the 15 minute time frame. XDC, Adam, Bitcoin, Ton, HBAR, all running to uh, KCS also. Uh, interesting there. And then um, what else I wanted to bring up here? Banter bubbles. Um, I guess we'll jump into the charts here real quick. And I'm going to go to my list here. Starting out with NASDAQ, uh, trying to put in a higher low here. Trying to put in a higher low and stuck in the range here. And we did say, yeah, that's the range that needs to break on the daily for the next move to occur. Uh, you know, looks like a higher low. If we close anywhere here or higher, um, I would expect a momentum will cross back up above 1583. Uh, briefly checking out, same thing on the S&P here, putting in a higher low, low volatility. Uh, looks like continuations and Dow even looking stronger. Getting the bounce off the 21 instead of the, um, and I guess that is our target on um, Dow. Looks like uh, might uh, play out there. Inverted head and shoulders. And yeah, you can see that uh, actually you can get a little deeper target if you really want to go for it here um, on the S&P. So maybe uh, pull your long shorts out uh, for Mr. S&P and Dixie. Getting rejected at the trend line. We talked about that, um, you know, ever since we got back above, you know, we deviated below saying, hey, look, probably going to get a shot up to the green 55. If that breaks, the next target's the trend line and rejecting here as the dollar goes down, risk assets go up, right? NASDAQ, we're talking S&P. We're talking about, oh, big earnings today coming out of, um, hey, do me a favor, guys. If you enjoyed that little tip in the beginning, smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. Um, let me know uh, what's working, what you want to hear about at least. Um, all right, Dixie coming down, risk assets go up and gold go up. Gold go up. And I think I did put in that um, little trade setup there for gold targeting that move to the top side of the range. And I think I would have got stopped out depending upon where or when I posted that um, but that, yeah, that, that would have got right into your stop. So I guess I didn't, um, get that one right. Uh, silver also needs to get above that pivot. Um, actually I would raise that up on the, uh, silver, silver. I am, you know, generally, even if we do get a bounce, look at this trend line coming down and I would expect little bit more uh, downside pressures unless the dollar absolutely gets slacked and where would we expect risk to continue to come on to the market well if we get back below the range low there and then take out that low well that would be our sign of a bull market yes sir that'd probably do a good job for me now bitcoin dominance highly debated and speculated and i did do this little measure move off of if you want to call this a flag um if you did want to call this a flag i think it could go a little deeper but i think that's uh fair enough breaking out 
I don't even know if that works, guys, um, but this does work. The fibs hide a little low, coming up to the 1618 getting rejected now. So where's a failure going to come in? Well, back below this pivot at 50 percentile and uh, the Bitcoin dominance rally is over. But more importantly, I think uh, actually just a deviation back into the range. This doesn't look right the daily for okay there we go pulling it way way out there we are there we are i think i was just a little bit uh, on the micro time frames there so that would in fact work and the daily will it confirm a higher low low volatility put those emas back on and that's what you want to see in fact for continuation of the upside is a confirmed higher low here. How would we confirm this as a higher low? Well, it's not going to confirm like that. It was already confirmed. In fact, getting out these drawing tools out of here. Let's get rid of those drawing tools real quick. And I'm going to wrap up this video. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys know how to play the fast forward feature. Speed up that time frame on this is looking just a little bit different, but you see the gap down here on the Bitcoin dominance. I don't know how effective that is on, but we know how gaps like to get filled and a downside move uh, on Bitcoin dominance would help out the altcoins. Just in general, I'd say confirmed higher low already. And I'm looking for actually this, this area to get hit. Yeah. Back at 50%. So we are 50 and a half percent. Yeah. That short term target. All right. Longer term target way up here. 54% and then upwards from there. Okay, ETH Bitcoin uh, is kind of coming into this trend line, uh, working its way onwards and upwards in this um, in this rising channel. And if, uh, you know, Bitcoin dominance does take a leg up, you'd expect this to take a leg down. And, uh, and you know, really, uh, if we start to close anywhere below these lows here, that would be a negative uh for for you know altcoins in general however um when we get back down to this level that might be considered a buying opportunity so when this flips bullish again we get a a new um you know even though we temporarily have a little higher lows and higher highs here uh on the weekly scale i i'd say we're still in a macro downtrend for the uh, bitcoin dominance I'm sorry, ETH Bitcoin pairing. Again, this giving us the bias that, you know, Bitcoin's probably going to be soaking up most of the altcoins as, uh, you know, they will not outperform Bitcoin in their Satoshi pairing. Okay, uh, another, another, and here's what I mean by that. If I give you a pairing like, I have one up here, uh, Ave Bitcoin. There we go. So in a downtrend, but... You can see over the last couple of weeks, this one was outperforming Bitcoin uh, in, sorry, yeah, Ave was outperforming Bitcoin all this month, this entire month. And now the last three weeks, it's been underperforming. So Bitcoin has been outperforming Ave as it did just have a pretty significant pullback on its dollar pairing as the FUD surrounding the curve hack, et cetera, et cetera. All right, uh, last ones I'm going to bring up. I think this one is worth taking a look at. Uh, optimism. Supposedly uh, getting a lot of garnishing, a lot of attention, a new um, a new token on the markets. And, um, you know, to be fair, uh, it does look bullish and silver cross expanding volatility. And uh, in general, I think the target I have on this one is... Um, well, 178 in the short term and then a greater target if we're looking at this on a weekly perspective which i think it's probably important to do weekly momentum is up volatility is ticking down to be fair so where does a bounce come uh up to on the weekly time frame well you know bull traps and bear traps are going to come in at the 0.5 and the 618 and a weak bounce is going to come up to that 382 which we are currently approaching right now so on a candle body closing basis, you know, fair game at one uh, at two bucks. Uh, one ninety eight is probably going to get pressure. I think that's the number I was looking at. 
um, as, you know, it's a psychological number, a dollar, two dollars, you know, 198 people, you know, take profits. All right. Uh, that one, another one I'll bring up on the bot list, a little hot one here. And again, make sure you like the button uh, if you're enjoying some of this. Genie token, a, another one which looks bearish at the moment, but uh, part of the Telegram bot phase. And again, this is priced in wrapped Ethereum. Wrapped Ethereum, uh, not necessarily the same thing. And I don't know if it is priced in uh, Genie, G-E-N-I-E, -E, the Genie, Genie bot. Are we priced in USDT? Nope, it is in wrapped ETH price, wrapped ETH. So that's essentially uh, before these things get priced in dollars, some of these new things get priced in a wrapped Ethereum and take it or like it or leave it. At that, um, just something to keep our eye on. Uh, looks bearish at the moment. If we close anywhere here, I mean, that's a clear top and hey, this thing can go all the way back down to the bottom, right? Uh, or to the 0.5, something like that. That's it for today, guys. Hope you have a blessed and highly favored weekend, a good week. I enjoyed it all with you, and I will see you back next week. Take care.